In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a paper gun that shoots ninja stars with a trigger. And I know there's already a video out on this of a tutorial on how to make this, but the guy who made it didn't give any um, audio, he didn't talk the whole time, and I think that this would give you a little more detailed on how to make it. So some of you who didn't know how to make it um, could make it. So this is how it's going to shoot. There's a trigger here and a rubber band there. When you pull the trigger, it shoots. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, to start off, you're going to take one piece of paper, and you're going to get a ruler, and you're going to measure about one and a half centimeters, and that's where you're going to fold it. So at one and a half centimeters. And then you're just going to fold that the whole way down. And you're going to take your tape. And... And tape it so it's pretty smooth. Get those creases. So they're pretty nice. And now you're going to fold it in half. And you're going to put that aside. Next, you're going to take another sheet of paper, get your ruler, and you're going to measure about four centimeters. And that's where you're going to fold it. You're going to tape it the same way that we did the other one. And then you're going to fold it in half. Alright, I'm going to pause the video right here, and then on the next part I'm going to show you how to put these together. Alright, so I have my two pieces right here. I'm going to take the bigger one. And you're going to take the uh, smaller one and you're going to line it up with this line in the middle. But you want to leave about um, one centimeter of space between the crease in the middle and where you place this one. And then you're just going to take this end and... You're going to fold it over so it lines up with this angle right here. And you're going to do the same for the other side. Alright, so when you fold them like this, it should go on like that. I'll have this. And these two ends should be able to fit in here. And come out right there. And this is just going to be the gun right there. But you're going to want to take this out and get your scissors. And you're going to want to cut 
a little slot right there. Like that. Alright, now you're going to want to take another piece of paper and you want to measure about maybe a little more than one centimeter and you're going to fold the whole way down. You're going to do the same thing that you did with the other ones, you're going to just take them. Then you're going to fold it in half. Alright, so... Now you're going to take this and you're going to put it through this slot. So if your slot's not big enough, then you can just make it bigger. Take this and stick it through the same way you did last time. Uh, this is how it should look. Try to get it pulled all the way through. And now you want to take your scissors and on this back part right here, you're just going to cut in a, li a little like that. So this can fit down there. And then you're going to have about what you want your trigger length to be and you're just going to cut right here and right here so that's what you're going to have and then you should also cut right Alright, now I'm just going to pause the video right here and then I'm going to show you how to make the last part. Alright, now what you're going to want to do is take another piece of paper and you're going to line it up with this um, handle right here. And you're going to want to make this fold just a little bit bigger than your handle so this can fit over your handle. So you should always make it a little bigger just in case because you can always make it smaller if it doesn't fit right. I'm just going to take it the same way. And in the middle right here, you're going to tape these sides away so it can fit in the gun. So open it up to the middle, tape it right there.
found right here. Alright, and then you're going to take this and you're going to make two slots. It doesn't really matter how big they are, just maybe two centimeters. And then you're going to see if it fits to the gun. And mine's a little too big, so I'll just cut it right here. And then just cut it right here. And then just retape it. And then this should fit on the gun fine. And then you're going to try to fit the parts inside the gun. So they all fit in nicely. So this, this corner is going to go under here and under here. I'm going to do that off camera. Alright, so I've got the handle fit on nicely. I put all the sides under so it looks nice. And now I'm going to show you how to attach the rubber band and how to shoot it. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your scissors. Now I've already done that, but you're just going to want to cut a little slot in here to fit your rubber band. And you're just going to put your rubber band in there. And then you're going to let this part stick out and it's going to be the rubber bands right there. And then I already have a pre-made Ninja Star, and I'll probably upload a video on how to make a Ninja Star in another video. So you're just going to take the Ninja Star and put one of the ends in there so it stays. And then you're just going to pull the trigger, and it shoots. Alright, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.